Well, I came to Hinchingbrook uh, having had experience of how a specialism can make a real impact on school ethos and on achievement, and the school had uh, lost its way perhaps a little in relation to recent developments, and uh, it needed uh, a lift. Morale needed to be raised, the students needed to be engaged. The school had traditionally done extremely well in team games, but there were questions about how inclusive this was. So a very, very important issue for us was designing a PE curriculum that enabled every single child to get some benefit out of uh, physical education. We thought very carefully about what a physically educated student should look like at the end of their experience at Hinchinbrook. And we, through a series of consultation exercises, through talking to other members of staff, through talking to the wider PE body, we identified three key core principles which would underpin everything that we would do. So the core principles being physical literacy, personal performance and personal fitness. The curriculum as it, as it stood it was very traditional and we had to have a look at, at, and review this. Um, and it wasn't a case of just adding on the, the new terminology, the outwitting, the excelling. But what would we actually want the, the students to do from year 7 into uh, year 11? We can't get away from the fact that we're doing something physical and students enjoy success, they enjoy being successful in an activity. So we want to help the pupils to be the best that they can be in an activity. And so for them to be focused on their own individual excellence was really key for us. So we're trying to help all of the students identify what can I be and how can I get there. Who can tell me what do we mean by the term excel? Um, you push yourself to the limit. Pushing yourself to the limit. In your pairs, you're going to be peer assessing. Uh, you're doing really well, Kieran, but uh, you need to get your body streamlined in the water, so it's like that. At the moment, you're going like that through the water. And if you have it streamlined, you can go faster through the water. We've developed over the years in PE a range of ways of introducing students to, to being physically fit. And in some ways, that can put students off. Uh, one of the things we identified was that we wanted to encourage pupils to feel fit to be a good student, fit to study. And so we've tried to embed our fitness work in the context of the whole student and the whole school. So being a healthy performer and learning how to develop those skills in PE is actually going to help your performance right across the school. An example of how that's developed is that we had um, 150 or so students cycling to school. That's increased now to around about 700 to the point where our cycle sheds are bursting. We didn't want to just recycle the same old stuff. We didn't want to then put a new package on existing experiences. So one of the things we decided to do was to say, well, we need to treat activities as families of activities. So it doesn't actually matter whether some students do rugby and others do football, or others, some do netball, others do handball. They can all experience learning to outwit through the activities that we're able to offer them. I want you to think of what the purpose of the set play is. So when you win a set play, when you're in that situation, what goes through your mind? What kind of thinking is going on? Like with the free kick, you'll practice what you're going to do, and then you'll kick it in, and then man runs in, hits it, so it gives you an advantage, which is pre-planned. What we do is that in certain sports, we think about how we can like get past like opponents, like using our skill or using the team player as well to like, like say like a little one-two or something to come off, so like, you get around them. The role of the students has been very important in the whole of this uh, development. Uh, their voice is something that we wanted to listen to very carefully. Um, you also have the sports council, who make decisions and take other people's like um, how they think about what if there are any changes they'd like to make to the sports activities we can do. Students have a very important role in making judgments about the quality of their experience, feeding those back to staff, making proposals for improvement and change, and most particularly, leading and influencing and developing other students' engagement in the curriculum and indeed in all aspects of school life. It kind of like it makes you more like a confident person because if you're like speaking up and like giving advice, then it makes you feel good about yourself if well if they take it on and then you make a change and a difference and it helps other people as well. One of the developments that's come from the Sports Council is that students feel they're ready to start to make choices earlier on in the curriculum and could we facilitate that? 
we've introduced activities like skateboarding and rollerblading in order to excite those students who are not excited by traditional gymnastic type activities but so far as we're concerned they involve developing all of those skills that can be developed in a gymnastic context. We've also introduced activities like mountain biking as an extension of the outdoor and adventurous curriculum that we offer. By the end of Key Stage 3 we want students to be able to say what they like, say what they're good at and say how they like to be assessed. The evidence that we've got that uh, will make a difference to, to learners is comes in this uh, department and in individual review that we do um, weekly through department meetings and discussions with, with students. We're working very much towards the students taking, um, taking responsibility for the quality of learning within the lessons. So at the moment we're, we're training up the Sports Council to actually come into our lessons, have a look at the teachers and uh, feedback to the Head of Department, Director of Specialism, actually the quality of learning that's going on. Um, we have a lot of self-reflection during uh, department meetings where we talk about the strengths and weaknesses of the new curriculum and how it's working. We need to now look at and address what questions are we going to ask and how are we going to develop their other areas that they need to improve on. Yeah. I think with the successful learners, we've uh, gained more of the evidence from that through their evaluating and improving. That's how well they know how they're yeah. doing. Um, and with regards to their confidence, I think with finding out how they feel that they're doing themselves with their learning grids. Mm. That's what we feel like we yeah. can tell those that feel they are achieving yeah. and they're successful. In the Facebook that, that, that we're evolving within the department, every Year 7 student uh, has um, a recording of their progress, uh, what they're achieving and how they can actually go on and step up uh, and improve performance and improve the understanding of how to get there. And that's important. We've clearly been tracking the evidence very carefully and looking for that evidence on the broadest possible base. We know, for example, that attendance, which for a school of this character was not as good as it should be, is now very, very good indeed. We see improved performance in physical education, we see improved understanding and we see improved enthusiasm. Students are now more interested to find out more and they're starting to ask questions of us, which is challenging teachers to think about where we can develop the curriculum next. The behaviour ethos has improved substantially. That has built into, I think, commitment to learning for students. And we're seeing this in outcomes. Uh, the schools, the, the cohort in 2008, were the first ones who've been through the whole programme here. And the 5 hours A starter C rate, including maths and English, increased by 19%. The PE curriculum can't be seen as a historical document. So we can't just deliver traditional PE and think that's going to fit you know, all students, because it doesn't. So we're constantly having to rethink what we deliver, how we deliver it and who we deliver it to. Uh, and that's a challenge and that's really exciting.